Oh, I forgot to show you how you can set up your AI. So I will do it again. <laughs> uh, let's do the platform actor, this one, because this one handles inputs, this one doesn't. So this will be the enemy and I will add a pig again. So, uh, but I will use a angry sprite for here his head because he's bad he's the enemy right um, and what I will do here what I want to show you is that it's very easy to make a not AI but you will you see it's something very easy to, to set up as well what I will do here is make the character jump jumps uh, using the timer just this uh, since the, the actions of the, the character are very self explaining explanatory so I can connect the timeout to the jump and you can see that the the methods are pretty self explanatory you don't have to think much about them uh, so I connected the timeout to the jump so every time the times in the time ends it will trigger the jump for the character and I will make sure that this platform action is also connected to the character crowd here so uh, character form action just so we can see the animations and another thing that I will do is duplicate this so we can see the states for the uh, for the enemy and I will connect the state machine change signal to to this so we can debug properly and finally add a rectangle shape to the character so uh, if everything goes as expected he will start jumping after one second and will keep trying to jump so let's see this yeah and you can see the, the states here so uh, let's say we want it to go to the dash instead uh, so it will start dashing after one second and Maybe he will stop. Dash. Oh yeah, his <laughs> his speed is not as as good as his, but yeah, you can see it, it's pretty much working. So now that's all, guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Keep developing, and to the next time.